So you're getting ready to eat an ant. You're gonna try an ant, baby? Oh. Let me see. Hold it up. Oh, it looks like a fat grub. <sighs> you didn't put no salt on. So as we are getting to the biggest waterfall, this is Pylon del Diablo. So we're gonna, <clears throat> we got a poncho because it's very wet and very rainy. And this is the terrain that you gotta walk in right here. So it's rocky, it's muddy, it's wet, it's very steep. So you gotta make sure you're careful where you're walking. Out here, Chontakuro right is the name. Chontakuro, it's a uh, ant. So these are ants. It's a uh, typical food from the jungle. So how do you go about eating these? We got to find out. So is that how many? How much does that feed? We can all try it. Yeah, let's see how this goes. <laughs> So the I'm gonna take a picture of it. How much ants are there? Enjoy the chontakuro. So where's the ant at? Right there. In the, the white uh, vegetable. <laughs> Is a uh, palmito mixed with palmito and chantacuro. So do I just break palmito it? Is so or do I eat the whole thing? Like a big, let me see it, it looks like a, a grub. Oh, that is just enough. Ava, come over here, please. Maybe okay. you need a salt? Uh, yeah. You need a little salt in your <laughs> diet? Yeah, I need a little salt. Do I just eat the whole thing? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, for a little Ava, I'm over not going to try that. It smells good. Here, I'm going to. You got it? Ava, come here, please. Yeah, sure. <laughs> try it out. Oh, you're going to try it, too. Come here, Ava. Hold on, let me. I need you to stay by me, okay? What? So you call that? these ants? They look like grubs in America. Mm, no? No. It's, it's an ant. Yeah, it's an ant. Okay. You guys ready? All right, here we go. Do for YouTube. Oh, So you're getting ready to eat an ant. You're gonna try an ant, baby? Oh. Let me see. Hold it up. Oh, it looks like a fat grub. <sighs> you didn't put no salt on it. Do I need salt? Yeah. Can you throw a little salt on there? Here, I'll do it. Just like a speckle. Okay. Go for it. Let me get some of the vegetables. All right, you ready? Yep. Not bad, huh? It's crunchy, though. That must be the head. What does it taste like? It's like it has a it has a taste of something, but I don't know what it is. What was that? My phone. The white color is palmito. It's a vegetable. Pretty good, Pretty though. Good, huh? Yeah, not bad. We're still at the Diablo. So here's a nice little waterfall off to the side here at the park of the Pylon del Diablo. And just so you guys see the 
you know, make sure you guys, if you come here, bring a, a poncho. They do sell them. But bring a poncho, bring some water, and bring some form of hiking shoes or boots. Because you're going to get dirty, you're going to get wet. Another cool thing about walking in a wild park is you get to see wild animals in their habitat. And right there, you see one right there is a bird. Not really sure what type of bird it is, but I know there's a lot of people taking pictures and are very, you know, shocked about seeing this bird. So, it's got to be a pretty big deal. It's pretty cool. I like the color. The orange is an insane color, man. It's, it's a sharp color. So we walked probably about, I'd say about 15 minutes. So now we're gonna keep walking more. We got a bunch of stairs to go up. So definitely a trekking, uh, trekking park. I do think we are coming to the end where we get to look and see the waterfall because we do have this awesome building right here overlooking the mountains in the hills and the bird that you just seen that was a bird that's a, um, an endangered bird that is only found in the Amazon so that's one of the birds in the that's one of the birds in the Amazon so pretty cool so guys as we get closer it's gonna be filled with water so I gotta be careful but this is what we're looking at this is oh that's cold Woo. there it is guys Woo. there's a big drawbridge up there walking across Diablo and there it is you guys the Python or the Pylon del Diablo flashing all the way up here it's insane because it rained a couple days So you guys, we literally crawled underneath this cave. Uh, I was on my hands and knees crawling to get under here to get into this big giant cave to overlook this waterfall. It's very low and very, very hard if you hit your head. You gotta be careful walking around down here. Cause look, look how low the ceiling gets. So we're gonna have to crawl on our hands and knees we get through here. <laughs> Holy cow, son of a bitch. Okay, watch your head through here. There's rocks all over the place. So we're going all the way up there, you guys. Oh, there's water coming down the stairs. Water down the stairs. All right, I'm gonna stop recording right now so I can get up these stairs and I'll see you guys in a little bit. All right guys, so we crawled all the way up these stairs through this cave, through down there, and here we are guys. We were just there a little bit ago. We crawled through the caves. Here's more of the park of Flylon del Diablo. Now we get a little bit closer to the over bridge walking freely over the waterfall. There's the waterfall pouring in. And there it is. Look at down there, completely covered you guys. Look at it. If we were down there, picture how, how bad you get covered with how soaked you would get. 
Look at it, right there, watch it. Boom, there it goes, it shoots right over. There it goes. Here it comes, look at it. Boom! But there is a, a million dollar shot right there, guys. So right now we're walking across a bridge that's held together by this nice cable here. And uh, here's the bridge we're walking on. Wood plank, it's vibrating every time people are walking on it. So here's the view we got off to the side here, and then here's the other view. A little bit more of a scenic view of the waterfall. Not so much up close like we were, but here it is, you guys. This is the big money waterfall that people come and see in um, Ecuador. As people come in and see this in Ecuador, you guys, look at it. Here's the big La Playa del Diablo. As high as it goes. And the water just surging down. Just beautiful, you guys. Comment down below what you guys think of this place. Would you guys come here? Would you guys walk across the bridge, craw crawl through a cave to see the waterfall, get soaked? Would you stand there and get drenched? In the States, we call them grubs. So, guys, you've seen when I ate that ant? This is the live version of that ant. Right here. That is the live version of the ant that I ate. Do they bite, Santiago? Uh, no? I prefer the chicken. And no, no, do they bite? Yeah. yeah, if you want. No, no. No, no, do they do bite you? Do they bite you? Like, yeah. uh, I, I, if I would have seen this prior to eating it, I probably wouldn't have did it. <laughs> well, what's in there? What's in there? Snake. So here they are live, you guys. Here they are live. This, so that is the ant that I ate. And then there they are right there, the ones that I ate. Here they are live walking around. And They're like the ones Pumbaa eats. The yeah, Pumbaa Pumba does eat them. But he calls them grubs. I think they're, they're like the ones Pumbaa eats. I think they are grubs. I think they're grubs to us. They call them ants. That's what we ate. <laughs> we ate those. So guys, this is the local beer in Ecuador, you guys. Look at this thing, how big this thing is. thing is huge. And just to show you the size, I'm going to put it next to a wine bottle, you guys, and look at it. The exact same size as a wine bottle is one glass, or one glass of beer here. So we're eating some lunch over here at the uh, La uh, Playa del Diablo. So this is some soup we got going on here, along with my jumbo beer. This is normal size beer, you guys. This thing is nuts. So here's my lunch, you guys. So after that soup, this is the lunch we have. With the jumbo beer. So just to let you guys know, we were in a, a heavy tourist area, uh, that waterfall. We had lunch at a tourist place. We paid six lunches for that size. We came with the soups and then that, that size of a plate. And we got two big, giant beers. We only paid $25, you guys. $25 for that.